In this example, we're multiplying two powers of monomials. To do this, we'll work with the first monomial, negative 2z to the third, all of which is raised to the second power. We take negative 2, we raise it to the second power, we multiply that by z to the third raised to the second power. Now negative 2 squared is equal to 4, and z to the third squared is equal to z to the sixth. Recall that when we take a power and raise it to a power, z to the third squared, we multiply the exponents. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. For the second monomial, negative t to the third, z to the third, the coefficient of this monomial is a negative 1. If we don't have a number in front of the variable, we can just put a 1 there. So now we take negative 1 and we raise it to the third power. We take t to the third and we raise that to the third power as well. And then finally, z to the third raised to the third. Now negative 1 to the third power gives us a negative 1. A t to the third raised to the third gives us a t to the ninth. And a z to the third raised to the third gives us a z to the ninth. We now multiply our 4z raised to the sixth times our negative 1 t to the ninth z to the ninth. 4z raised to the sixth times negative 1 t to the ninth z to the ninth. We'll multiply the coefficients first. 4 times negative 1. Well, 4 times negative 1 gives us a negative 4. Okay. I'll then work with the t term. We only have one t term. That's t to the ninth. I work with the t term because the computer wants us to enter in our variables in alphabetical order. So I work with the t term first. t comes before z. We only have t to the ninth. Finally, we multiply our z terms. z to the sixth times z to the ninth. Now z to the sixth times z to the ninth gives us z to the fifteenth. Since when we multiply powers, we add the exponents, where 6 plus 9 is 15. So our final answer is negative 4, t to the ninth, z to the 15th. And that is the answer we would enter in the input field. Negative 4, t to the ninth, z to the 15th. Negative 4, t to the ninth, z to the 15th. After we enter in our answer, Click on the gym button to check your answer, and then go try and catch a mouse.